In this video I'm going to talk about the diagnostics area and the data recorder. Those two are the last steps in our FSD workflow. First of all, we need to connect our FlexiSoft with the computer. Now let us begin with the diagnostics. At first, I want the newest information to show up automatically. Therefore, I'm going to activate the auto refresh via the settings button. With the refresh button, we could also update the information manually. To give you a better understanding of the diagnostics area, I'm now going to simulate a discrepancy error of the e-stop. In this area, we now see the message of the discrepancy error. This is the window where all warnings and error messages as well as messages from the message generator function block are displayed. If you click on the error message, details are shown in the area beneath. In the toolbar of the diagnostics area, we can adjust which kinds of messages are displayed by changing the filter settings. With a click on the Show History button, errors will be displayed that are older but still stored on the system. By clicking on the Clear button, all messages, including the historical ones, will be deleted. Let us now have a look at a data recorder. On the left side, you find three windows to set the recording up to your individual requirements. In the window on the button, we find our in and output elements. We can simply drag and drop those which we want to record in the main window. In this example I want to record the e-stop and the motor. In the top window we can choose between the two recording modes. We can either record continuously or only if a certain trigger condition is fulfilled. If we choose trigger mode we have to select the trigger channel and the condition. I decide to record continuously and to only store new values. Finally, to record data, the data recorder configuration in the device and in the FlexiSoft Designer must match. Therefore, we have to write the configuration into the device by clicking the corresponding button. Let's start recording. If I press the e-stop, we can see that both recorder elements go to zero. Now I can find out how much time passed between the press of the e-stop and the shutdown of the motor. Therefore, I add the marker by clicking the Show Hide Marker button. First of all I zoom in a little bit to see more details. This is done by clicking the magnifying glass right next to the marker button. If I zoomed in enough, I can see a little gap between the e-stop being pressed and the motor turning off. I now use my markers to determine the time. In my example it is 4 milliseconds. We can now save the recording as CSV file on our computer by clicking the save icon. To clear the current record, just click the clear buffer button. That's it with the second online tutorial. We got to know the fourth and fifth part of the workflow oriented navigation bar, the diagnostics and the data recorder.